first of all, I would like to apologise for any background music that you may be able to hear. That is the girlfriend's crap taste in music. And that other noise that you might be able to hear is the parrots. Well, one of them. Can you behave for 10 minutes, please? The other one. Are you going to be quiet as well? Please be quiet, please. Right, anyway. Haven't had any videos for a long time because I am soon to be moving out of this house. So I haven't updated the channel for a long time. But I thought some of you would be interested to see my latest purchase. This is the current edition from the current range of Panasonic DVRs. I was very lucky to get my hands on this. I didn't think I would ever see one. But as you can see, I now own one. It is the updated version from this one. Yes, we've still got the keyboard. Apologise for the mess. Just say we'll be soon be moving. And I hope to update the channel again soon. I don't have any cameras attached to it. I have just been playing with the settings. But that's it for now. And I do promise that eventually I will update the video. Update the channel, sorry. Oh, before I go, I'll show you what else I managed to get a hold of. Ah, don't you just love what I have in this box? Yes, we have a box full of red wall PIR sensors. I estimate there's about a thousand pounds worth of sensors here, but you know me, I didn't pay that. I got them off eBay. There's one there. If I can get that to stand up. As some of you may know, these are the best PIR sensors money can buy. Truly professional equipment. But this one I have here is the daddy. And I have two of these, I have one of them, and I have two of these. And what's so good about this one, you may ask? It has the bottom PIR creep sensor. Got another one in there, still wrapped up. That is for a G. JD lighting system, which I've never showed you yet, but I have a brand new full system with a digital keypad, etc. upstairs, and I hope to show you that one day. <coughs> and now I have the old style red wall sensor. As I say, there's easily a thousand pounds worth of equipment there. It all works. And hopefully, I'll get it all installed at the new house. I'll be able to show you some more but that's it for now you know me I just wanted to show off my latest purchases can't wait to get this little bug I worked really can't look at the size of that one in fact I don't I'm going to find out how much that thing actually cost new because I believe that was about four or five hundred pound might have only been three hundred who knows that's it for now.
Right, I think I'll get this on YouTube and uh, I'll see you guys soon. There's the girlfriend hiding behind the laptop, which happens to be my laptop, not hers. Just look at that specimen sitting there on the, on the couch with that crappy music. But anyway, actually just before I go, I'll just put that on there so you can see. Oh, the beauty about this new Panasonic WJHD616 DVR is that it is a 1080p output via HDMI. And it also has two of them. Also has another two because the unit you can actually connect I think it's up to six of these units together and they connect to each other via HDMI which is truly amazing but right that's it time to go that's just a LAN cable there plugged into a wireless what you may call it I can't remember so that unit is actually wireless at the minute on the Wi-Fi network. But that's it for now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that brand new. That brand new. My latest purchase. And I really can't wait to get this up and running and get all my cameras connected to it. Truly an amazing piece of kit. I've seen these for sale for anything from two and a half thousand pound up to three thousand five hundred pound. And I have one. <laughs> Goodbye.